Meet Harry Hole, my alt account. You might remember him from the nightmare video. Well, this is him now. He's been training in the shadows for three years, and he's finally here to share his story. You see, our friend Harry was born out of fear. It was a fear that all the money I had made on Dream Gear would disappear. This is RuneScape, after all. Unlike many other MMOs, if your account gets hacked or you fall prey to a scam or a lure, Jagex won't return your items. Our story begins a long, long time ago. Before Dream Gear, before Harry Hole, before old school RuneScape itself was even created. In 2011, I was just a noob dreaming of big riches. Pre EOC, we couldn't trade free. So I came up with a plan just to earn some GP. Green shadow cash stack. This ain't a flat pack. This is a trap door that leads into a dark cavern. I went fishing. All the way to 99, I was way seeking divine. And it was seeking. in that moment a fish spoke to me. It said, Welcome to the LIC, bitch. I pretended to be sick for three weeks. They told me it was mononucleosis, but it never gives nobody. Settle, settle. Or maybe I did, but that's beside the point. Maybe it was the joint I smoked, I don't know, man. Bunk beds shared a room with my three brothers. My top set up on top of a shoebox. Modern Warfare 2, shooting noob tubes. Zephyr Free DLC. This whole time I was fishing, my KD was the best. Wait. <coughs> Maybe I really do have mono. I was over the moon. Elated. Check my bank account. It said 300 mil. That's a lot of GP, son. Do you hear? Do you hear the news? Free trade, trade restrictions lifted. I had no concept of getting hacked. The vote passed with seven zeros attached to it. No catch to it. No patch to it. If I had known what the damage would be, no, I wouldn't take it. Seriously, furiously, set up straight from a dead sleep. I remember running downstairs, grab my coffee, jump on the game. Have my login and password, and I'm sitting on top of Lumby Castle. I got hacked. That 300 mil was zapping, it was gone. We're good, we're good, we're good. Once your main gets compromised, it's very hard to tell if it will get compromised again. Over the years, I've seen a lot of people quit the game once this happens to them, and it's very sad to see. I don't want that to happen to you. NordVPN, baby. My favorite thing about it is how easy it is to use. Just takes one click and you're pretty much good to go. You're protected. There are over 5,400 servers in 60 countries. Connection speed is fast and it's available on up to six devices on every major platform, Windows, Android, iOS, Mac OS, and Linux. Get this, NordVPN now comes with a major upgrade. Threat protection. Threat protection blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. You can also scan downloaded files to make sure it doesn't have any malware. And this is really nice because one of the main reasons people get hacked on RuneScape is from downloading malicious software like a keylogger or a rat. This makes NordVPN a very powerful tool when it comes to keeping your account secure. Ask anyone else who's been hacked before. I was absolutely devastated. At the end of the day, I'm just watching out for you guys. I don't want you to have to go through what I had to go through. Don't wait until it's too late. NordVPN was kind enough to reach out and hook all the boys up. They're giving us a huge discount if you go to nordvpn.com slash ingusvpn, okay? Don't leave your account security up to chance. Get protected today so you have that peace of mind. <clears throat> Step one for creating an alt account is research. To the gear discord. Armadil, uh, I could use an alt right here just to help you tank, I guess. Here we go, here's a tank. Um, for Bandos, this is an alt account. Yeah, Sarah Doman, Dolo, there's Dolo main and uh, Dolo alt setups here. For Sire, there's like a vent alt and a heal spec alt. And right here is uh, a method, Dolo lavas or alt lavas. As you can see, there's a lot of things we can do with an alt. So here's what we're making. God Wars dungeon tank, max combat, Lunars for spec transfer, heal other, and vengeance. This is Harry Hole's final evolved form. Guys, if there was ever a full-grown man enrolling in kindergarten, this is what he would look like. Hi, my name is Harry Hull. <laughs> okay, so I have walked to the GE. The first thing I need to do on this account is get some money, because I have nothing. So I'm gonna be looting on a PvP world. Shit, I can't use this audio. <laughs> It was recorded three years ago. Been making this account for three long years. Holy shit, there's still bounty worlds? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a relic from the past. So they made it so the bounty worlds require 300 total. So it looks like my first plan has failed. And apparently that's all it took. <laughs> I just instantly just said fuck it and just started trading shit over. All right, boys. First thing we're gonna do is waterfall quest. Can we get a round of applause for 2019 Ingus? Ernest the chicken, 
complete. Now, all jokes aside, I started this account exactly like I would start any other account. Waterfall Quest, Imp Catcher, Witch's Potion, Vampire Slayer, Witch's House, Restless Ghost, Priest in Peril, Monk's Friend. I got 35 wood cutting for animal magnetism. After that, I headed over to Sand Crabs to get 30 range for the quest. There's 30 range. Now, you might have already caught on to this, but I was basically making this account as a pure PKer. This is by no means the order that you have to do these quests in. This is just the preferred order that I was going for. Animal magnetism. Mmm, look at that shiny Avis device. For now, I'll need 45 prayer, so I bought a bunch of debones and I'm just using them on the Chaos Altar. One of the main things I want to emphasize with this account is that I'm going for the absolute laziest easiest way to train this. I'm not going for the fastest methods because that would just be too sweaty and boring. And I'm playing this account on the side. Just got 40 magic and here is 40 ranged. Upgraded the gear a bit. 50 ranged. That should do. So I went back to sand crabs and got 55 magic for high out. Plague city. Biohazard. I got my agility level to 30. Eventually I'm going to want to do recipe for disaster. So I went ahead and got 70 cooking. For lunars we need 61 crafting. So that's what I'm going for next. 61 crafting. 55 wood cutting. This is another wreck for lunar diplomacy. The grand tree. Lost City, there's Fight Arena, Druidic Ritual, Jungle Potion, Fishing Contest, Cook's Assistant, Rune Mysteries. There's also a lot of other quests, I'm not even gonna show them, you guys know them. Hey, there we go, Dig Site, Iktharlin's Little Helper, Started Recipe for Disaster, Give him the slop. Ghost Ahoy for the Ectophile, now I highly recommend doing this, it's a lot easier to bank for uh, using this all at the Nightmare, compared to uh, doing A Taste of Hope for the Dragon's Medallion. Alright, I think it is time to train range, this is my setup. At this time, Harry took a break to help me out with dream gear specifically the nightmare grind i tried taking him pking but the only kills i got were on nine rain <gasps> sit you gotta sit. be kidding me and that's it <laughs> besides that one guy i killed in the wilderness there's nine rain in that guy needless to say the pure life wasn't for harry hole so i started the next stage of the account best training spot in the game right here don't mind me there we are a 70 range a pretty sick milestone level 80 ranged off of these ammonite crabs i started training melee but this guy came up and started crashing me he was equipping a scythe earlier and then he switched to the battle axe i have no idea what this man is is thinking so instead of flaming him i uh, made him feel bad for me and social engineered him to give me his leaf bladed battle axe <laughs> It's a true story. It's a true story. Look, he has a scythe. He has a scythe, dude. <laughs> but I got his battle axe. Anyways, I finally got base 60s, which means we can now equip our new outfit, my friends. Obsidian armor. Gives us four max hits over our previous setup. Huge. All right. So now that we have our obsidian gear, I even uh, changed to the rare obsidian cape, which is totally unnecessary. Let's pot up and see uh, just how much our max hit goes up. Nice, a 26. Probably gonna chill here until I have the levels for the Warriors Guild. After that, uh, we'll go get our Defender. And yeah, we'll head to Nightmare Zone. You know what? I decided I was actually gonna go to Nightmare Zone anyways because, well, I may as well. It's not quite as AFK as I would like it to be at the moment, but eh, we'll see how it goes. 60 attack, strength, and defense. I am getting 50k strength xp per hour i'm what like what level 78 i am now going to try a customizable rumble this is going to be a lot more points than i thought jesus christ i'm having an issue with my prayer it's only level 46 because of course i thought this was going to be a peer count so i just ended the nightmare zone with 129k points uh could have gone longer but I uh, AFK'd. We're gonna go train some prayer. Okay, the dragon bones have sold, costing me about 5.3 mil. Let's go use these up. Ah, there we go, okay. Time to AFK. All right, it's been a few hours. We are almost done. Here we go. There it is, 70 prayer. We can now use piety and all other sorts of good stuff that you saw right there. Probably won't do the quest for a little while just because I want to play this game as lazily as possible. 65 attack and 65 strength, which means we can now go to the Warriors Guild, get our Dragon Defender. This obby shield is dragging me down. There we go, got it. Only took 308 Cyclopses, so. Not terribly dry on that. All right, we're back at the NMZ. Our XP has gone up by quite a bit. We're getting 65K XP an hour now. 70 strength, time to switch to attack. I finally got enough points. Here's the Berserker Ring imbued. Extra four strength bonus. Gotta love it. Let's go get a fire cape. This is my setup right here. Oh, take the hit. <laughs> it's all about that, uh, that steel skin, boys. That's what I'm talking about. We are fully prepared for the NMZ. We got the Zerker Ring Eye, 
We have the fire cape. We have everything we need to live here forever. 70 attack. That means it is now time to move on to defense for one very important reason. And I will show you in about 10 more levels. Hey, A Vernic Defender Hilt, Dex Scroll, Augury, and Torn Prayer Scroll. Why not? All right, first things first. Give me that Avernic Defender, please. Thank you. Let's read the scrolls. Why not? I don't have the prayer level for them, but it is okay. I just want to unlock them for the future. Awesome. 75 attack. Boy, oh boy. Do I have a surprise for you guys. You'll just have to see after I finish this session. My main account is back with a delivery of goodies. Boom, boom, boom. So these have the exact same max hit. The only difference is this one costs plus that, you know, five mil. This setup is quite a bit more it's like 200 but it is better just for the simple fact that i have more defense which means i'll be using less absorption doses so i can stay in there longer basically that's basically how this is better we are going to be training strength i think all the way to 96. i would get 75 defense as well before that for the prims but i think that's mostly just a cosmetic upgrade it barely does anything i think i'll get more uh use out of training strength but and regardless, we'll get 75 eventually. There's level 80, 85, and there we are. 99 strength, just like that. Now I've switched the setup to range and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using the blowpipe all the way. I'm just kind of testing it out to see what the rates are compared to some other methods. Uh, I'll get back to you on that, but yeah. Planning to just go all the way to 99 range at this point. I hit 90 ranged and I decided I would rather stop here, come back for 99 and do some magic training instead. Because I feel like magic is just more useful for this account uh, in the short term. Then I can actually like start doing stuff with it. Whereas range is like kind of just a nice thing to have. As you can tell, I am training this the most lazy way possible. I'm just fire surging in NMZ. I've ran some calculations and turns out it's only going to be twice as much GP as getting 99 from bursting or barraging. And I'm willing to pay an extra, you know, 30 mil just so I don't have to actually look at the screen. So that's the plan. Since I'm doing magic, I may as well go get the MA2 cape just because it's an extra 2% damage and I'm going to have to get it anyways. I'm gonna go with Ceridoman this time because it looks good with the Ancestral and we're gonna be wearing that for a long time in NMZ. So there we go, plus 2% magic bonus. Okay, stats are looking pretty good now. Got 90 magic, 90 ranged. I think uh, I might switch back to range and just cap that off at 99. So I found this insane method. Yeah, you're gonna laugh at me because I'm using rune arrows and I used rune arrows all the way to 99. Turns out it's way cheaper than using a blowpipe, even with like some shitty darts, like mithril darts. It's only slightly slower. I mean, granted, XP per hour, not the fastest, like 45k XP an hour. <laughs> but you know, 10 days of this from 90 to 99, not too bad. I, I didn't even... I didn't even play the account, I was just sitting here while I did other stuff. So it appears that this is 72k per hour using Fire Blast, but I just had an idea. What if... I used the Water Surge spell with the Tome of Water. Like surely that would be faster than Fire Blast, right? The Tome of Water isn't quite as strong. I just drink a bunch of these. I'm gonna leave. We know that this is 72K an hour, so I'm gonna actually go test the Tome of Water. So here's just a little comparison of the prices at the time that I recorded this video. Since I won't have Fire Surge until 95, uh, water surge might be really good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I can already, I can already see how this is gonna be a way better option. Again, might wanna compare the prices today. I have no clue what Fire Wave versus Water Surge looks like, but if there's not a big difference with Water Surge today, definitely go for that instead. All right, well, it's way faster than range, I'll tell you that, at least twice as fast. Uh, at 95, I did end up switching to Fire Surge, but yeah, magic is completed. And here is 99 hit points shortly after. We only have two more 99s to go. Damn it, I missed it. Is it 99 attack. We got 99 attack, okay? Only took like two weeks. There we go. After months of playing this game, but not really playing it, I have achieved 99 defense along with 99 in every combat skill. We are done, boys. We have finished the Nightmare Zone without playing. I'll probably get seven more prayer levels to uh, get Augury and Rigor, which I have already unlocked. I guess now I actually have to play the account. 52 days and 10 hours of playtime. That's how long this took. 
Now that Harry Ho is Max, there's only a few more things he has to do before he's ready to take on some bosses. This is the final preparation. Are we ready? The Shiloh Village speedrun. We need a countdown. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, shoot. No. Quest completed. 15 minutes for Shiloh Village. I remember uh, doing this on my other account. I think it took me like at least an hour. Is there like a, a list of fastest quests? Is there a speedrunning quest discord somewhere? Nothing came up for Fremenic Trials speedrun, so. Thank God. And I got some fishing levels and thieving levels and agility levels and fletching levels. Oh man, I'm glad to be done. 40, sub 45, baby. All right, next challenge. Can I beat Lunar Diplomacy in 30 minutes? Damn, 39 minutes. That's a longer quest than I thought. Um, so yeah, could not beat it in half an hour, but maybe we'll try again in the future. We have finally arrived at the present moment, my friends. Harry Hole is now built like a machine. This account has a very special role to play on my new series, Dream Gear Ultimate. But that's a story for another day. Take care. I wonder if this is a scout. I don't know. Hey, we just got our first PK. <laughs>